Good evening. For the first time, we're hearing the frantic moments a shooter opened fire in the Clovis Public Library. 911 calls from that violent day in late August have been released, during which a teen is accused of a mass shooting, killing two women and injuring four others. News 13's Brianna Gallegos joins us with the audio. Brianna. Madeline, nearly a dozen people dialed 911 on August 28th, reporting an active shooter at the Clovis Public Library. One of them was a father who told dispatchers he rushed his kids out of the library the second he saw a man with a gun. Do you know what the, the man is wearing? A white with a black shirt. It was a 9 mm 45 with a handgun. People were begging for help as they heard rounds fired inside of the library. Another call came from inside the library offices. A woman told dispatcher she worked there and was hiding in a closet from whatever was happening. She didn't see the shooter or know if anyone was injured, but she pleaded for emergency responders to get there as soon as possible. Okay, stay, stay where you're at. Do not leave from the building, okay, ma'am? We're going to get them over there, okay? Okay. Okay, stay there, okay? We're going to have help on the way, okay? Two library employees, Wanda Walters and Christina Carter, were killed. Four people were injured. 16-year-old Nathaniel Joette was arrested and will be tried as an adult in the case. Police say Joette claimed he was mad and wanted to hurt himself and others. Tonight at News 13 at 10, we'll have more on the audio, including the call from a library employee who says she was comforting an injured co-worker. Madeline, back to you. Okay, thanks, Brianna.